I'm Louis. I'm Simone. And uh, welcome to another episode. Queen of calisthenics, Simone, is going to put me through my paces for a calisthenics workout. I'm feeling mildly confident. We were talking about this beforehand. I was like, oh, pulling strength stuff. I'm feeling ready. Pushing things I'm not as ready for. But you've got a fun workout planned. We're going to go climbing after this. You take the lead. What are we doing first? Start off with some pulling and then we'll all go from there. Can I use chalk? Climbers like chalk. You can use chalk. Got so much nice chalk. Sweet. Okay, what are we doing first? Right, we're going to do some different variations of pulls. We're going to go for five chin ups. Okay. We're then going to go for five pull ups. Okay. We're then going to go for five wide pull ups. Okay. We're then going to go for, let's go for three archers on each side. Archers being like that? Yes. So let's do them all in a row. No, you could okay. Oh my god, okay. You decided to do them all in a row. Oh yeah, I'm gonna rest for the other ones, but okay. All right, so when you're doing the arch up, yeah. um, I saw you just go like this. When you're doing the arch up, I want you to go and try and get that arm okay, up the Okay, got bottom. it. Yeah. I'm gonna rest for a minute. <laughs> Right. Okay, it's warm up complete, right? That was the whole warm up. Yeah, that was the warm up okay, done. Phew. That's the workout done. Let's go home. Oh, thank God. Bye. We we're going to go on to um, a muscle up, and with um, calisthenics, we do like to do things in a nice strict form. Okay. So when you're doing a muscle up, you keeping your feet in front, you have a little swing. Again, it's just a high pull, get those shoulders over the top of the bar, and then straight bar dip. Okay. Oh, just do that, okay, yeah. yeah. I was thinking, oh, I've done muscle ups loads, and then you're like, we like to do it with really strict form. Yeah, so I'll, 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 I'll do one in full grip, little swing. And shit. Yeah, look great. Yeah, okay, so try cool. not to pike too much in the waist. Okay. Get the shoulders all the way over. A uh, little swing. Ooh. Sorry, microphone. <laughs> Slam straight onto it. I've seen people before doing just completely static? Yes. How much harder is that? Um, again, that depends on your strength. Um, a good way of doing that is if you actually start on your wrists. So rather false than... grip like that? So no, yeah, that you see, false, false grip would be like this, Okay. but I'm talking about on your actual wrist, oh, starting okay. from here. Um, you can give it as well. <laughs> if I fall off my wrist, that's not so bad. So you go to there, you get yourself oh my God. Off, <laughs> and then you start putting it Oh my God, that's hard. So, are you going to demonstrate that? Uh, yeah, why not? Oh my God, are you? Go on, Simone. Oh my god! Yeah, just like that. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you made it look so casual. How long have you been training in general and then when did you direct your focus to calisthenics? I've been training, well I started as a gymnast from the age of three. Oh, great. Um, up to 17 and then went to calisthenics from 18 up to now which is 31. Wow, so you've been doing pull-ups for about 28 years. Yeah. Pretty good at pull-ups. People take. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's next? All right, so another thing that um, that would help with that as well, yeah. um, as you said, you're not particularly strong out, is your push. Yeah. So it's that curling, that pushing position. So let's have a look at your pushes. Okay. Nice. All right, let's get closer. Cool. All right, so now from there, let's go wider. Why do you for me, find this easier? I do find them much easier wide. Yeah, I'm not having to use my chest as much, right? It's actually using your chest more. <laughs> it's actually, actually the opposite of what you said. I thought I was using my back more. No, you, okay. When you're closer, you're more in the triceps. Okay. If you go wider, you're more in the chest. What now? Now we're going to go into um, wide arch push-ups. Ooh, okay. Which I always find entertaining, quite fun. Nice. Awesome. Okay, good, I can All stop. Right. <laughs> oh, these are really hard. How many do I have to do? She's not saying anything. Oh, I'm getting pretty warm now. Hang on, so I'm just gonna change into a t-shirt. I'm ready, more push-ups. All right, so we've done the strength ones. Yep. Uh, we're now gonna go to some dynamic push-ups. Very exciting. Uh, so we're gonna go for the push-up 360. Oh my God, okay. So when you're going for the, yeah. uh, the full 360, the leg comes underneath. So if I, um, if I go for the full 360. Yeah. Oh, I ain't done this in a while. Okay. Oh my God. This should be interesting. I'm probably going to look like you at the end of it. Go on, Simone. <laughs> you can't look worse than me. All right. So you're going from here. Wow. So it's a lot more for spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Hips. Okay, okay. Oh, better. that was, yeah, that was better. I landed on my face, but that was better. <laughs> nice. 
you've got your free stick. Kind of got it, yeah. Oh, awesome. oh god, you're such a good teacher. Thank you, Simone. <laughs> okay. All right, so. Oh, thank god, that's over. No more of those ones. <laughs> Not those ones, but I have got one more. Oh, uh, no. push exercise. Okay, okay. Because this is so entertaining. Um, can you clap behind your back? Just in general. And you, well, yes. Oh, wait, can I? Just when you see. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. I can. Damn. So now, so <laughs> I should have gone like, oh, I can can't. I? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> One of my favourite um, variations of this would be the triple clap, so you clap in front, no. behind, in front and then down. Are you able to show us one of those? I am able wait, to wait, show wait, I want to film this. <laughs> um, the triple clap. What? <laughs> that was nuts. Quick <laughs> pass. So, you're really, really strong, really, really coordinated, and then really, really strong again. All right. I think I've understood. I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> so I was like, oh yes, he's definitely going to face plant. <laughs> okay, so... Indeed. The so. trick to this is to keep your arms straight until you're coming in front. Okay. So when you've got that first clap in front, yeah, yeah, straight, yeah. straight, and then... And then close in. Okay, I <laughs> feel like it's optimistic to worry about that third clap, but... <laughs> Oh. Did I do it? I mean, you've got the hands together. I'm not going to try it again because I landed it on the microphone on both hands and tore up my hands nice and good. Right, onwards, next challenge. <laughs> Are you happy? Have you actually... Ah, oh, a fine wound. First wound today. Ah. Um, we're going to start working on the Must Up 360. So that's starting from the waist, kicking, going all the way around. So starting up there. Yep. Um, first thing we're going to do is get the kip and the twist of the hips. Okay. So you're going from here, yep. kick and yep. turn. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm doing it. You, what you're trying to do is you're trying to move both um, Yeah, I'm actually just trying to kick with time. the left, right? Yeah. Okay. Throwing it back. That's it. Okay, cool. okay. I can feel myself turning a little bit. Awesome. So now, going to kick, kick, turn, stand. <laughs> I'll say come closer to the middle of the bar though. Okay. Nice. Right. So same again. Up, use that leg. Turn. And look for. Okay. Nice. I'm getting there. So now try the 360. Oh, damn. <laughs> so don't worry about touching the bar at the moment. Just try and get Just that turn face and back and this face way back. Again. Okay. Nice. Hands out and you're there. And that's it. Try that. Cool. And now I want you to try and touch the bar before your feet touch the floor. Okay. Good. Nice. So a now. A second before my feet hit the floor. So now we're just going to bring that up to something a little bit higher. So we've moved over to a medium height bar. I think to give me more time to get my hands onto it before my feet hit the floor. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to progress into it again. So I'm going to try just 180, mm -hmm. then 270. 270, and then 360, okay. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Oh my God. So now you just need to remember <laughs> to move that right hand as well. Yeah, um, I'm very reluctant. It feels like I'm just going to smack both wrists onto the bar. But... Oh, that happens. Okay, good. <laughs> same, it's the same chat I give people in clothes. They're like, oh, I'm worried I'm going to fall off. I'm like, yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. Okay, okay. <sighs> Other hand there. Other hand. I feel like I'm turning enough that I can get one hand, but that right hand is still miles away and I don't feel like I'm looking at it at all. Are you it's... focusing on like tracking like a ballet dancer yeah, so would? Yeah, so as, or... as you turn, just turn your head. Okay, that seems pretty simple. Yeah, so just look at your shoulder. Lead with the head. Because you're doing it down there perfectly. If you wasn't able to do it down there, I wouldn't have brought yeah, you up true, here. True. So. I've made myself dizzy now. <laughs> Give me a sec. No way. <laughs> Getting more scared of it. Yeah, that time you didn't look. No. You want to try another one down there? Let me try. I think I was trying to do it like just with the hips and then I watched Simone doing it. I was like, ah, she's also being really strong in the chest again. So I think. I tried on the low bar and I felt a little bit more comfortable with it. <laughs> Big talk. <laughs> Safest thing to do is to just commit. Yeah, you're right. It's the same with same with climbing. Yeah. Doing it nervously is more likely to go badly. Exactly. Kick, legs, push. Yep. Now I'm all the way over here. <laughs> Let me try on the low bar again. <laughs> so uh 
Now I'll do it again. Oh. Now you just... Uh, I think I can stick that one-handed, but I don't think I should try. You're looking at the floor. Okay. You know you're land on the floor. Uh, I'm thinking about landing and I'm not thinking about catching. Look at the floor. Oh! It's nice to be a beginner again. <laughs> so much learning, so much progress. Oh! Nice. Can you cut my feet out? <laughs> the only thing that I would say that would stop you from hitting the forearms before you yeah. land is to push back a little bit. Okay. I'm just cautious that... Then I'm just going to go miles that way. Yeah, exactly. But slightly back. further back if I've got space to think about it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Nice. I feel like I'm really getting it though. Yeah, up there. Alright. <laughs> <Whoa! laughs> Look for the bar though. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> See, now it's just a fit. Do a little bit more on this, and then I'll right. get it there as well. Well, this isn't even like the workout part of calisthenics either, this is just yeah. the skills part. It looks good for your endurance though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I feel like I'm basically doing it now, I'm just clattering my legs on the floor. Yeah. yeah. All right. Do exactly the same thing up here. Okay. Nice. Oh, not the best one, Lever. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you're such a good teacher. Oh, I finally did it. Oh my god, that took so long. Ow! <laughs> Yay! Awesome. All right. Oh, right, cool. Now I can do something else. Yeah. So Thank you so much. Of two things. Okay. We can either stay on the high bar and do a hop over, or we can do a front knee pad. What's the What's the hop over? Uh, I'll show you. <laughs> Let's do the front levers. <laughs> it used to be pretty strong on front levers. Like I could hold them for like twenty seconds or so when I used to train a lot more. I feel like I can hold them for like. Five seconds going really purple now, but should I just smash out one and you tell me if it's good? No worries. Yeah. Let the legs come down a little bit there. Nice. <sighs> I feel like you're supposed to breathe while you do front levers, aren't you? It helps. It yeah. definitely helps. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I can see why you're going purple. Yeah. Um, you also said that you, um, that you struggled with your back lever as well, didn't you? Yeah, I feel like I have never successfully done a back lever and had countless people tell me that it's supposed to be easier than a front lever it is okay it is um i mean there's a ways of cheating in a back lever that okay. you can't do in a front lever first tip keep your hands close behind you okay um that's it really okay that sounds all right that's, that is literally the do own. you do you do skin the cat first to get into position and then you raise into it yeah yeah, what I like to tell my clients is if yeah. you imagine that you're putting your feet onto a table and your bottom's up, your feet on a table and you're sliding your feet across that table and knowing your hips. So, Wait, which way up am I facing? <laughs> I'm trying to picture <laughs> oh, the table. Upside down, so... <laughs> so I'm... Let me just... Oh, oh, I see. So I'm like... I'm putting I'm in a handstand with my feet on a table and I'm sliding them that way. Yes. Potentially. So <laughs> you're, like, mm, you're going from maybe. here. Yeah. You're upside down. Yeah. Bring your hands a little bit closer behind you. Yep. Yeah. Squeeze your bum through. So from here, I'm yeah. letting my feet come out onto the table. Okay. Yeah. So Look great. Like, that's the trick. If your hands are close, okay. you're going to be able to catch onto your lats. So hands closer. <laughs> and then let your legs come down. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I'm going to die. Okay, the reason why, you, you could have held that in oh, a straight line. I thought like my head was going to come off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. What am I doing wrong there? Um, you just shot out too high. Okay. So, um, like I said, if you bring your leg in that type of position, you bring yeah. them out lower, you'll take out the negative down into it. Wait, because I went up and then lowered down. Yeah. Right, okay, okay, got you. Whereas if I go straight out, I'm just straight into the position. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, it. I'm going to put my hands at your feet. Okay, and, and then, then I guide, guide them. You. That's so helpful. Thank you. Okay. So bring your hands at your feet. To... Oop. No, that close. Okay, yeah. Right <laughs> there. So bring them down, let your hips come through, and then guide them front back. So let your hips come down to there. You know when you hang upside down for like way too long and you feel all the blood in your head? Your it feels like that immediately. <laughs> Can I see you do it once more? Uh, yeah. not, not as like a test, I know you know how to do it. I'm just trying to work out how you're not <laughs> throttling yourself like I am when I do it. <laughs> oh, 
She looks so serene when she does it. <laughs> I feel like I've literally got someone's hands around my throat. Okay, let me try it once more. Yeah. <laughs> but that is a lot of the lower back and the glutes. Yeah. Need more lower back, need more glutes. Indeed. Oh my God. Okay. We're done. Simone, thank you so much for everything you taught me. Yeah, I'm nice. so thrilled, particularly about the 360 spin. I, like I said, I was excited to learn it. Then once we got started, I was like, oh man, I actually worry that I'm not going to be able to do it because it feels really, really scary. But you're an excellent teacher, so thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Folks, please make sure you go to Simone's Instagram and follow her. We've just put it at the bottom of the screen. It's in the description as well. And uh, next time we're going to meet up and we're going to do some climbing together. With so um, join us for the next episode. Like, subscribe, uh, click the join button if you want training plans. See you all soon, folks.